Thank you to Maja Hall for your support on Patreon. Hello everyone, my name is Vivian. This is the first video I have recorded at all of anything since I received my warning from YouTube since violating their community guidelines of sexually provocative content. What the hell does that mean? I don't know, because the video in question that violated that guideline did not at all specify what exactly was the violation. There was no time stamp, there was no specific scene, there was no specific violation incurred. From what I could tell, there were three possible things that could have violated it. If there was a broad as hell, super sensitive, super hyper, never seen even a nipple in your life style, sensitivity to sexually provocative content style of <laughs> sensitivity to sexual content. And so because of that, I have to have a new strategy when it comes to uh, my presentation of sexually provocative content. You might have noticed that the last few videos of extracurricular activities uh, were edited the same as usual, but were uh, age restricted. Uh, that was done by me because I was terrified of being retroactively uh, striked and <laughs> fucking having my channel removed. Because it only takes three. That warning was a shot across the bow, and then three strikes and everything's gone. So, going forward, because those those videos were already edited and uploaded and scheduled to uh, publish by the time that video was done, I, I unless I wanted to re-edit all of those as well, uh, there was nothing I could have done about those, just waiting and seeing if they were going to get flagged too. Um... So that was just waiting and seeing if they were going to get uh, uh, flagged. Um, thus far, they haven't. I'm recording this on the 18th, so we'll see. But going forward, I'm going to have to, as soon as I can tell that a scene is going to be carrying on a theme of being sexually provocative content, gotta skip it. I'm sorry. For a while, I was going to be able to kind of wade into the waters a bit and then when it got to the really saucy stuff skip past it synopsize it at the end and maybe read it in a, a silly voice to show that while i believe wholeheartedly that there should be a place for this kind of content that while labeled appropriately and uh accessible to those who only can handle it and uh, uh, it should be available to those who want it and who can handle it, advertised by the advertisers that exist and who want to advertise along with it. It should be available and not scrutinized and treated like the plague. Apparently YouTube just doesn't feel the same. So uh, instead of the common sense ways they could be solving this issue, and putting in a place that protects creators and curates a simple and easy, solvable solution to the audience, they have chosen to punish creators and make it super difficult for the audience to get what they want. And now I just can't do it. So as I have said time and time again, at the beginning of all those scenes, I've had to synopsize in order to appease what I thought were the rules, but apparently they have fucking changed. If you want to play this game for yourself to see all the scenes that I was not allowed to narrate and will no longer be able to even get close to narrating, to play the scenes that you want to see quite clearly because of all the times I have uploaded it, 40 minute scene of wonderful dialogue and character development only for someone to immediately comment just the time code of the saucy scene even though you can't even see most of it thanks that makes me feel very much valued for my time 
and all the hours I spent recording and editing and uploading and all the stuff and hard work I put into it. Just the sex scene, thanks. You know, as of this update, Dinewolf has put 1.5 million words into this game, and it's not even close to done. Only a fraction of that is the sex scenes. It's quite clear to me by how certain members of my audience react to my videos that only some of it is valued. But anyway, I'm a little salty right now. If you want to play this game yourself, the game is free. You can play it to your heart's content, good route, bad route, all the choices that I miss, the choices you disagree with, the choices that don't make any sense to you, the choices that I have changed over the years of me playing this game. I've been playing this game for five years. 150 odd episodes at this point, multiple parts to some of the episodes that were multiple hours long streams. And just because I can't play the sex scenes, I don't want to lose a channel that I have had since 2011 and a streak of me making videos since I was nine years old. I've only had an audience of any size since 2017-ish, but I have been making videos just for my entertainment and as a passion for almost 20 years of my life, and I'm not gonna sacrifice it because YouTube doesn't like it when I show a titty! Or even when I don't show titty, and it's not even like, because there's a weird double standard about female titty, male titty? Is it kinda sort of? Who gives a shit if it's gendered? I don't fucking know. It's a nipple, woo! Describe the titty! What are you doing to the titty? Am I describing thoughts about the titty? whoop de fuck I'm not gonna sacrifice almost 20 years of doing something that I enjoy and love to do that a certain section of my audience, fuck everything else I've done, only cares about that. I've noticed and I resent the shit out of it. I'm not gonna sacrifice and possibly lose all of it just for that. So yes, I'm skipping all the fucking scenes in this and any other future games, and I'm gonna take this opportunity because quite clearly, I'm not gonna be able to do this for the rest of my life. At some point, I'm going to lose everything or I'm gonna have to stop doing this. Something in my life's gonna make me have to go away. Life's gonna get in the way. I'm gonna be physically or mentally or time-wise not able to do this at some point. The world's gonna end, I'm gonna have to take care of life stuff. I might have kids at some point. I don't fucking know. Maybe at some point I'll lose interest. I don't fucking know. But I don't want to have spent all of my time fighting with the idea that my audience didn't want me to play certain games that I wanted to play the entire time just for them to only certain members, not the whole time, but certain members to only focus on the sex scenes then YouTube to turn around and shit on me for barely doing any of it and falsely f fucking flag me and punish me for barely doing any of it for those scenes. So for the fraction of my audience that only cares about the sex scenes, this is your permission to go to the other visual novel YouTubers that seem to always get away with this shit. I'm not gonna be that person for you. I'm not catering to the sexual side of these games anymore. At all. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna be that person for you. I don't know who else is going to do it. I don't care. I don't fucking care. Because I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not comfortable with it. Fuck it. I'm not making a fucking Pornhub account just to post these videos on there when it decides to spend a little bit longer talking about how they can't go a fucking day and a half without t spending an entire goddamn hour and a half describing cranking their hog. And if that's what you want to do, that's fine. That's a perfectly valid use of your time. I'm not saying you're wrong for doing that. I'm just saying that's not what I'm going to be doing. So this is your permission to unsubscribe to me and go somewhere else. But if you enjoy me, the way I do things, or if you enjoy these games for things other than that, 
or you enjoy the way I do them in addition to that, or you don't mind those scenes being skipped, whatever, you can stick around. I'm also going to be doing things other than visual novels going forward because I need to get the fuck other things into my fucking sphere because I have ideas for other shit I want to do. And at some point, I want to be able to look back on this and say that I didn't spend the entire time wishing I had done shit that I didn't feel like I wasn't allowed to do. All right? So that being said, I've spent 12 minutes on this. Let's move the fuck on, all right? I got laundry going in the background. I get the furnace going. I'm pissed off. But I'm still committed to the fact that I want to catch up on this game because I love this fucking game, all right? Despite the, <laughs> the complaints I have about it and about how people treat this game and about how <laughs> fucking it's received and how I'm received when I play it, I still love a lot of things about this fucking game. So let's just fucking go, all right? We got some updates. Uh, this is the 1.132 build. This was released like a couple hours ago. Today, April 14th. Jesus Christ. Big ass fucking screen for, I do like this though. This is the patron screen. A lot of patrons. Look at all these fucking patrons. You scroll all the way down to the V's. Where am I? Hey. Should be right here. Where am I? V-I-V-I-A? V that's V-I-V-I-E. Where the fuck am I? Oh, maybe this is like... Okay, this was before it, so I guess I would still be... Does this still have the weird one? Yeah, yeah! Here it is! There's Deckerlink, which is my old name, and then there's Deckerlink CH. <laughs> Because apparently, I think there was someone who was just like CH, and so there was just like a weird like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I saw it, and I said, I was like, did someone take my fucking name? I didn't actually think someone took my name, I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, for this update, it actually includes Dozer's Day 35, which I thought was in the, uh other updates so now I know for sure for sure that we can finish this so we had 33 34 and 35 we have three days and if the strong beast competitions over the weekend then I guess we could see it I don't know because right now we're just if it doesn't include it then we're just sort of in a holding pattern waiting for the route to end <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't really know what's happening. You were roused from a deep slumber by a large hand roaming around your chest and stomach, coupled by- coupled with the noise of Dozer's phone alarm buzzing. Mmm. Drat. I was afraid that was about to happen. Good morning, babe. <laughs> morning, Dozer. Did you sleep well? He was on his side next to you, and his hand moved up your body to your cheek. He used his thumb to gently caress your face while you leaned into his hand. Mm-hmm. It was great as usual with you beside me. Good. I had a good sleep too, but it was my turn to have the inter it was my turn to have the interesting dreams. Oh uh, yeah? What'd you dream about? Me, you, and Chester were at the gym again. And we all had singlets. All had on singlets this time. Yours was a bit too tight, though. And while you were doing a squat, it ripped through from your taint and just above your butt. Gee, a perfect tear, it sounds like. You don't even know how perfect it was. After the rip, you just kept working out like nothing happened. Things get foggy around there, but we all ended up in the locker room together. Chester has a massive, clearly outlined boner running up his stomach under a singlet, and he's complimenting how good your taint looks? While standing- How do you compliment a taint? What? Oh dear. 
Uh, okay. Wow. Is my new me <laughs> federally mandated policy going to have to kick in immediately? I... Is that what he meant by looking good? In terms of, like, appraising a piece of fruit? Yeah, I can't say that. Ay, <laughs> caramba. Fucking hell. Uh, yep. Can't say that. Oh. Oh. Suddenly the three of us are in my kitchen eating my plants and talking about which one tastes the best. That sure made a big jump. Yeah, I told you it was interesting. That's all I remember, though. Were we all wearing our singlets in the kitchen? I'm not really sure, to be honest. We might have been, and I can't recall. <laughs> I see. It sounds like a bit of a wild dream, to be sure. Mm-hmm. As much as I want to stay in bed with you, I gotta get going. I have my classes and whatnot before practice. Lunch again? You know it. In the meantime... Another part of the uh, new policy is that because I wasn't sure, because they didn't fucking tell me whether or not it was the description of the scenes or the sprites that weren't censored enough, I don't know. Um, because they were like, it was pornography or nudity or sexually provocative content, I don't know. Uh, the fruit bats could have been too small in the shower scene, so the fruit bats have got to be bigger. So, right now, we got a fruit bat, and it's, it's, there you go. It's huge, which is ridiculous, because if he was shirtless, I wouldn't have to show it. Like, literally right before, when he was in the meantime, he was shirtless and had underwear on, but... It's stupid. It's fucking stupid, and I fucking hate it. I am... I... Ha... Uh, ha... Uh, anyway... Here's a little something to think about while I'm gone. Feel free to spend your time... Edging again. Or just rub one out completely. If you do that, better take a picture of... Picture and send it to me. I think I'd rather save it to... Sh uh, share with you later, but I can't... But if I can't wait, I'll be sure to. I gotta... Move past the sexually provocative content or else they're gonna shoot me! Good. He pumped his arms a few time, singular time, giving you a good show of bulging muscles before pulling his underwear back up and getting dressed. Okay, enough showing off. I need to get dressed and go. Get to it, and I'll see you later. Mm-hmm. Dozer got dressed quickly and gave you another kiss before heading to the kitchen for a quick breakfast. I'll chill in bed a little while longer, and then I'll get my day started. You did exactly that, lounging around in bed with your own thoughts. Then a thought struck you. I should see what kind of information I can find out about Dozer's competition. We don't know a whole lot about it, so I sh so I can look up wh wh uh, look that up while I have time. You mean you've been planning this whole shit, and you don't even really know that much about it? I mean, come on, gosh. He told me I can use his computer whenever I want, so let's check it out. He moved from his bed to his computer and looked up the competition for the Crest Haven area. Hmm. That's the competition times and all the events that will be a part of it. Knowing what kinds of events they'll be doing should help Dozer set up a good routine. Oh, what's this? This coming Sunday, they're going to be doing a mini competition and training seminar for anyone interested in the competition. Well, hey, that should fit into the shit. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That'll be day 35. What a day to fucking finish it off. A finale of sorts. Good thing we had that planned in the fucking... 
you know, build anticipation towards it two days before it happens. They'll be doing deadlifting, atlas stones, and tire flipping contests, and the winner of each one gets a free year membership to their Strong Beast gym. That'll be perfect for Dozer. I mean, if you haven't done any of those things before, like, there's a certain form to those things that you can be strong, but if you don't have the form down, you can really fuck yourself up. I hope he's practiced in those things before, man. I don't think I could be very useful to him there, but they they would probably have someone else there that can work on his level. Trainers don't have to be able to do them themselves, all right? You remember Rocky? <laughs> his trainer didn't exactly <laughs> stand a chance with him in the ring. <laughs> I'll send this to my phone and send it to him over lunch today to see what he thinks. You spent your free time reading more about the competition, and once you had a good idea about the competition, you spent the rest of your time browsing other websites to burn time until lunch. Lunch time. And there's Dozer by the vending machines, getting some BFP. Wolf Star sends in paradise crossover! Oh my god! Chester's with him too. Eating taints and stuff. Is that what is in the other vending machine? Taints wrapped in cellophane. I guess we have some company for lunch today. Hey guys. Hey. Hey Grant. I wasn't expecting to see you too, Chester. What, am I not allowed to be in my own fucking game? Fuck you! <laughs> After all the shit I have said about him not getting any screen time in the other rounds, <laughs> just goes off. Just pissed. <laughs> oh, man. I ran... <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry. I ran into those. <laughs> Stop! I ran into those on my way here and he invited me to eat with you guys. It's always nice to have some extra company. <laughs> Fuck, I need to take a second. I thought so too. I'm starved, so let's get some food. The three of you made small talk and moved through the cafeteria line before grabbing a table. It's good that you showed up, Chester. You might be interested in what I have to talk to Dozer about. What about? You didn't give me much of an idea about it when you texted me either, so I'm curious. I was looking up more information about the Strong Beast competition, and I, and I found out that they're hosting an event on Sunday for it. They're going to be doing a few mini competitions for those that are interested in hosting a se the, for those that are interested in hosting a seminar about working out and best practices for getting ready for the events. The winners of the competitions they hold on Sunday will get a year membership for their training gym. Oh, well, I'm really interested in that. Well, I'm really interested in that. Well, I'm real, well, I'm real. I've never been to a strong beast gym, but I've seen them, and I'd really love to get in there and use their machines. What time would it be on Sunday? What time would it be on Sunday? It starts at 10 in the morning and lasts until around 2, so it's just a small event. What kind of competitions are they doing? Deadlifting, Atlas Stones, and uh, tire flipping. Tire flipping doesn't sound like much of a competition. It is when there are those giant industrial size tires. Oh yeah, in, in that case I, I guess it would be. I saw a picture of the tires they flip and they're about as tall as I am. It's crazy. I don't know if I could flip a tire that size. I've never tried, but I sure would love to. See, this is what I'm talking about. He's never done these things, and while he's strong, he's got the power. He's got the power! He, he's got the power, but he, he's if he doesn't have the form, easily you could fuck up a tendon in your knee, or you could strain in your shoulder. You need to know what you're doing, and he's got... He's got the physical therapy, so hopefully he would know proper stances and stuff, but this is where training sets in. So hopefully, I mean, this is a, this is like a, it's going to be day 35. 
So I assume it's going to go well just by default if we've been doing well in the route thus far. <laughs> but like, in realistic terms, if this were real life, <laughs> just being strong does not equal doing good at strong things. <laughs> if you have no experience. It's like being a bodybuilder would not make you a good professional wrestler. Just look at Lex Luger. <laughs> We're gonna do this, right? Of course we'll go. We might finally see if there are guys out there as big as you are. I'm sure we'll find someone if it's at the Strong Beast gym. It's kind of exciting. How about it, Chester? Do you want to go too? I think it'll be a good test to see if you really want to join the competition with me, and it'll give us an idea of what to shoot for. I don't know. It sounds like I might not be cut out for it. Psh, I think you're plenty cut out for it. Yeah, we got to see your muscles in action yesterday. I think it's something you can do. Really? Really? Hmm. I don't have to go to work until four that day, so I could manage. I'll go if you guys don't mind me tagging along. Of course we don't mind. It'll be fun. Yeah. All right then. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. We can all just meet at the school bus stop Sunday morning, and we'll take a bus into the city. Sounds like a plan to me. I thought he said it was in the Crest Haven area. I don't know why we have to go into the city, unless Crest Haven's one of those, like, I don't fucking know, whatever, who gives a shit. I'm good with that, too. <laughs> cool. I have something to really, I have something to really look forward to this weekend now. Yeah, I'm excited about it. On Friday, we have finally something to look forward to. You know, I've only been complaining about how we don't really have a clue what we're aiming for on this fucking toward the finale of this route. Now we finally have something. Time melted away quickly while y'all talked and ate, and it felt like no time at all before Dozer was standing up to get ready to leave. All right, guys, I need to get going. I'm heading to the clinic for a couple hours for practice, so I'll see you both there. Okay, I'll see you again in a bit. See you at the courts, Dozer. Dozer patted your shoulder and walked off. Do you have any plans until practice? Nah, I was just gonna go back home and chill. Do you want to hang out then? I don't have anything to do. Oh yeah, sure. What do you want to do? Mm, we can head over to the student lounge. They have a bunch of board games we can play in there, and there's almost always someone else to play with. I'm down for that, so let's finish eating and get going. Okay. Chester was quick to shovel the rest of the food down his throat, and you followed suit. With lunch done, the two of you headed to the student lounge. Oh, boy. <laughs> On the surface, this seemed like a scene where we could skip, so something's gonna happen in here. Oh, it's basically empty in here right now. That's weird. This time of day usually has people around to do something with. Maybe people have weekend plans and have dipped out early. I guess that could be why. Mm, puts a little damper on my idea. Are there not any to play with just the two of us? Oh, a couple that we could play with just the two of us. I, if I had my master to, Masters of Magic cards on me, I'd teach you how to play that. What the fuck? Oh. Sorry, my computer did a weird thing. Chester squatted next to a nearby shelf that was loaded with boxes of board games and browsed through them. Most of these are more fun with a third person, but two should be just fine. Let's see. Ah, this one will be perfect. What's the game? It's called Dungeon Master Boss Builder. Dungeon Master Boss Builder, what the fuck? We use decks of cards to build monsters, and then we'll fight them against each other uh, against randomly drawn hero cards. We build four monsters each, then we start attacking the same hero, alternated between each player, one monster at a time. Once the hero deck is empty, or all the monsters are killed, whoever scores the most hero loot wins. Sounds pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy to pick up, so, but it can be tough to master. I'd like to think I'm pretty good at it. 
Uh, I love to see in the progression of this game, seeing the alternate faces on even characters that were not on their route. I know it sounds like a small detail to be uh, happy about, but you know, seeing this game in its infancy, it wasn't something that you really got to see in the early days, but now you're seeing it and it's just, it's just really nice. That just means you'll make a good teacher. I don't know about that, but I'll try. I can't teach you all the tricks right away either, though. Gotta keep something hidden up my sleeve. <laughs> well, then teach me as much as you can without giving away, giving me the edge. I will. Jester went about setting up the play area while explaining how each turn would play out. He was surprisingly thorough, even taking the time to go through a practice round with you before starting the game. Starting a real game. He picked up the game quickly, as the rules were as easy as Chester said, and caught the bull by surprise. You added a golden necklace to your skeletal warhorse? You'll see why soon enough. I have a feeling I know why, but I wouldn't have expected you to have picked up on that already. I just happened to have drawn a few cards that look like they would pair well with a golden necklace on an undone. And... You worried about what I'm gonna do? Not at all. I have a perfect way to counter it, so I I'm not worried at all. <laughs> the turns played on, and Chester snorted after you attached another card to your warhorse. I knew it. You did exactly what I thought you were gonna do. That combo was so powerful on an undead, but I didn't think you'd get lucky enough to draw those cards. Or that you'd even realize just how strong they all are, all are paired to it, together. Fucking stumbled the shit out of that line. <laughs> Seemed pretty obvious to me. His eyes lit up after drawing another card and he grinned. Good thing you're not playing poker, Christ. Well, as strong as it is, I'm not too worried. What did you just pull? You'll see why soon enough. The monster building phase went smoothly, with Chester only providing you with minor guidance, along with an occasional snarky quip. It's time for the hero phase to start, so I'll let you have the first turn on attacking. How about we roll for who attacks first? You don't want to go first? Well... What if I hit it hard enough for you to just kill it on your first turn? Good catch! I was seeing if you'd pick up on that without me telling you. I always roll to make sure things are fair. Don't let anyone take advantage of you. I'll be sure to watch out for that. You rolled and still ended up with the first turn. Sure enough, you hit the enemy just hard enough to where Chester was able to finish it off, securing the first kill's rewards. Combat continued with enemy kills seemingly going back and forth, and as you got ready to kill a particularly strong foe, Chester stopped you. Time to show you how I plan on handling your warhorse. I can't have you taking the loot from this hero, from this hero. How do you plan on doing that? Chester placed a card on the table with a triumphant grin. I'm playing this card now. It completely destroys one piece of gear from any of your monsters, and I'm taking out that golden necklace you put on your warhorse. Why wouldn't you use that sooner then? I didn't want you to crush you. I didn't want to crush you right away and give you the chance. In that case, I'll just do this. Uh huh? He slapped a card down on top of his. I will sacrifice a piece of gear from another monster to null out your card. Really? That's the card you've been holding? Yep. I drew the card early on and thought it could come in handy when you mentioned the golden necklace. There's only one of those in the whole deck! Same with the necklace! How did you manage to draw them both? Beginner's luck, I suppose. Clearly! Well, that kill is yours, I guess. So take it. With pleasure. You made the kill and collected your loot, then continued on with the game. You watched Chester go through a variety of motions through the rest of the game, and he finished off the last hero with an excited fist bump. Yes! 
saw that chaos. That last kill was huge. He had a lot of loot on him. I don't think my pile stands up to yours. You never know. You might have less kills in your deck, but you could have had more treasure overall. It's time to add everything up and see who got the most. Points were tallied up with Chester walking you through how to handle all of it. And at the end, you both revealed your total. So I earned 727 gold from all of my heroes. Oh man, I only got 530. Guess that means you win, huh? Yep! For your first game, you did great though! Had you gotten a couple of big value heroes- Had you gotten a couple of the big value heroes I got, it would have been really close! Next time then. You wanna play again? That didn't take too long, so we should have time to play one to one, uh, maybe two more. Sure, let's see how my luck runs this time. Man, I almost had you that game. I thought you were gonna take that one. I only won by five gold. You picked up that game really fast, so you are already giving me a run for my money. <laughs> I feel like his voice is. Really? Yeah, to give me a run for my money. I don't know wh who that is, but that was not Chester. <laughs> I'll win next time. You can try. I wonder if Dozer would like to play at board games too. Next chance we have, we sure we should swing by here and. <laughs> next chance we have, we should swing by here and play. That'd be fun. You helped Chester gather all the pieces to the game you played and put it back where it belonged. I'm gonna head to the lockers and get changed for practice. Do you need to change or are you just wearing that? I'm just wearing this. I'll meet you at the courts when you're done then. Yeah, I shouldn't be too long. So I'll see you again soon. Off I go. Well, that was a fun little sojourn. Nothing, like, game-breaking happened like I predicted, but it was, it was just enjoyable. That was nice. I like that. Sorry to keep you waiting. Don't worry, Chess. It's not like you were long. Looks like I still got here before anyone else did. Uh, not us. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. We're just, just a little early. I'm sure everyone else will be here soon enough. Oh yeah, there's Spencer and Darius heading this way. I don't like those two. I don't like it. Chester raised his hand high in the air and waved at you, the teammates heading over. Coach Grester showed up a few minutes after they did, and you saw the hulking figure of your boyfriend down the sidewalk as the coach arrived. Right on time. Yep, I have my timing perfect for getting here from the clinic. I was hanging out with Chester. It was fun! We hung out in the student lounge and played a board game called Dungeon Master Boss Builder. Board games, huh? That does sound fun. We should all play together the next time we have a chance. Yeah, I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think that'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God! Ah, they didn't get me that time. I guess we'll keep going. I haven't done something like that in a while. Is it all you guys did? Yeah, we got carried away with playing and didn't even realize how much time had passed. Ah, uh, well, I'm glad you had fun then. I don't feel like that's what he was asking. <laughs> I suppose we should start stretching and get started with practice. I want to work on my serves today, so I hope you're ready for a good show. I feel like you don't get to decide what you work on. That's coach's decision. <laughs> I'm always ready for that. Dozer trotted off to join the rest of the team on the courts, and you followed along behind him. All of practice consisted of the team working on serves and receiving them. Well, that's convenient. You were pitted mostly against Dozer and his power, while Chester was with Darius and Spencer was with Coach Grifter. Dozer's serves were consistently powerful, and as practice went on, they became more and more controlled. You struggled to return them at first, but as Dozer improved, so did you. Man, you're crushing these serves! Since our late practice the other day, you've improved tenfold, it feels like. I think so too. I'm getting almost all of my serves in, in right now, and I'm getting better at what, at what part of the service box they land in. 
You're doing a good job returning them, too. I'm barely getting to a lot of them, and my returns are still weak. If the point played out, you'd just smash it right back. As we've seen, as we've already seen, I got a little carried away with a few of them. <laughs> yeah. You spiked one so hard it bounced over the fence. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. It's showing off your strength, and I like it. I'll spike a few more for you if you set me up then. I hope I don't set you up for them. You grabbed the water bottle from a nearby bench and gulped all of it down. I'll be back in a moment. Gotta fill up my bottle and run to the bathroom. Oh, well, sure. Dozer wasn't f Dozer wasn't for long. He wasn't long for this world, Dozer. Oh, that's sad. Before he returned. All set to continue? Yep, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to get back out there and slam some more balls. Because I gotta say, I'm feeling some kind of mood right now, and I'm, I need to release some of that ASAP. As he said that, he gave your... <sighs> Everyone is there! Come on, man! As he said that, he gave your cratch a playful jab with a tennis racket! What... <laughs> what got you feeling like that suddenly? Couple things. Mostly just seeing you out here on the courts playing with me. And I was thinking about that dream I had while standing at the urinal. It's been on my mind a lot today. So as soon as we get home... Oh! Try not to think too much about it right now, though. You're already starting to show. He gave your belly a pat and walked off to his side of the court. Get ready for me! Cause I'm not holding back. I'm not gonna hold back. It was a quibble, but I said it wrong. Hard to tell if he means that for now or for later. Looks like you all had a great practice today. Yeah, I feel like today was really beneficial for us. Those are servers insanely powerful, but I finally got a good handle on it. For the most part. <laughs> yeah, for the most part. I received a few of them, and I didn't get a single one back over. I don't think I came anywhere close to matching Doza's strength. I had a hard time dealing with one myself. It takes some work for sure. Imagining dealing... Imagining that with some... Imagining that with some spin on it, I don't think anyone could handle it. I guess I know what I'll be working on in the future then. It'll be terrifying. Anyway, I'm off to get ready for work, so I'll see you guys later. See you, Spencer. Later. See you Monday, Spence. <laughs> see you after the game ends. Or the route ends, really. Is that his curtain call? Is that the last time we're seeing Spencer? Oh, well, bye. <laughs> see you later, Spencer. <laughs> Jesus. I really should do the same. I need a quick shower before I head to work, or people are gonna complain about how I smell. I re I'm ready to take one too, but I think we'll do that at home. Those are gave your butt a firm pat and a squeeze. Yeah, that sounds better to me. Do you guys have plans for tomorrow? I can set you guys up with free game time and a free game of bowling. Well, I'm down for that. I'll be up for that too, as long as it won't get you in trouble. It won't. Just text me tomorrow when you're heading that way and I'll get ready for it. I really need to go now, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you later. Take care, Jess. And now it's time for us to get going. He wrapped an arm over your shoulder and guided you to the sidewalk, keeping you held close to him while you walked. And I can already hear the music. So as soon as it starts, we are going to have to skip, so get ready for that. The walk home was short, and you were quickly pushed through the front door. As soon as Dozer turned around from locking the door, he was on you. Oh boy. His arms wrapped around you, and his hands held you at the small of your back, and his lips assaulted yours. Yeah, I got a feeling. His, yeah, okay, yeah, we're... Okay. 
Yep. I we here's the thing. They haven't even done anything sexually provocative yet, but we know that that's what they're planning. So, yep. According to the new rules, because YouTube is making me do it. See you afterwards, guys. With a non-sexually provocative synopsis. <laughs> wow, really? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, um, <laughs> it, it 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 the, the scene immediately cuts to day thirty-four. Uh, so the 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 non-sexually provocative synopsis is, um, they they engaged in coitus and. <laughs> Uh, but with a twist, uh, Dozer, uh, Dozer received, um, and then they took a shower, and then it immediately cut to day 34, <laughs> and then, then that was it. And then that was it. <laughs> so, there we go, day 34, I'll uh, go ahead and save, and... <laughs> We'll see what, uh, day 34, we know that they're going to be heading to, um, the fucking, uh, the, the arcade place on day 34, and that's, that's what they're planning, that's all we know for that, and then day 35, we know that they're planning to go to the, uh, the practice place, the, pra the, the, uh, the practice seminar place that's that's what they're the plan and so there you go yeah so thank you for watching yeah when you cut those scenes out in their entirety she gets a lot shorter I'm not sure that's a bad thing but uh there you go <laughs> thank you for watching those of you who are remaining now that I'm not doing anything of the sexual stuff. And, uh... Yeah. Bye. <laughs>